Hi guys, it's Lynette. Let's make some quick, easy, and delicious egg rolls. First things first, let's talk about the ingredients. I'm going to use one pound of ground turkey. You can also use ground beef or shrimp. I'm going to use two bags of coleslaw mix. Of course, we have our egg roll wrappers. We have some minced garlic. We have minced ginger. And of course, we have some soy sauce. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna heat my frying pan over medium high heat. I'm gonna add in a couple tablespoons of oil and then I'm gonna use some sesame oil later on. So I have both of them on hand. So let's go ahead and add our oil to the pan. Then we're gonna add in our ground turkey. And once our ground turkey is in our pan or whatever protein you're choosing to use, we're just gonna to start to break it up with our spoon here and just allow our ground turkey to begin to cook. All right, so after it started to cook a little bit, I'm going to add in just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm not going to add too much because I am going to add soy sauce later, and that has a good amount of salt in it. So I probably added about a quarter to a half teaspoon of each. And of course, we're just going to give this a good stir and just allow our ground turkey to continue to cook. All right, so once our ground turkey is done, looks like this. I'm going to add in my two bags of coleslaw mix. Then I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of minced ginger, and about one teaspoon of that sesame oil that I told you to keep on hand. So I'm gonna give all of this a good mix, allow it to continue to cook, but we're only gonna cook the mixture for about three minutes. I like a little bit of crunch to mine, so I don't wanna cook the cabbage too long. I want it to still have a nice little bite to it. So just allow it to cook for about three minutes, give it a good stir like I'm doing here. And you can cook it to your liking. So however soft or crunchy you like it, just make sure you cook it um, that way. So once it's done, it looks like this. I like to eat it almost just like this, but I still have to add in my soy sauce. So I'm gonna add about one to two tablespoons of soy sauce. What I usually do is just add the first tablespoon in, give it a good taste. And then if I think it needs a little bit more, I'll add the other tablespoon. Remember it's salty, so you just wanna be very, very careful. But once the soy sauce is in, cook it for like 30 more seconds and and remove it from the heat. You do not want to overcook your mixture. This is looking so good and it smells so good. I can't wait till y'all make it. All right, so this is good. Let me give you a little close up. We're going to remove our pan from the heat and then I like to add this mixture to another bowl, something that's not um, the frying pan because the frying pan has so much heat still in it so it's kind of like still cooking. So I'm just going to dump this mixture into a bowl, allow the mixture to cool completely and I usually just pop it in my fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, ooh, this looks good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so once our mixture is cooled, we are ready to roll. All right, so I have a bowl of water, and then of course I have my egg roll wrappers. The egg roll wrappers are really, really delicate. They're really thin, and I'm gonna show you just how thin they are. So let me peel one of these off. And you can see how thin they are. So I'm just gonna lay my egg roll wrapper on my surface, and then I'm gonna take that cooled filling and I'm gonna add about one heaping tablespoon to the center of my egg roll wrapper. All right, so once that filling is on, I'm gonna just dip my finger into the water and I'm just gonna use my finger with the water on it to moisten the edges of the egg roll wrapper. You don't need a lot here, so your finger works perfectly. And you can see I'm just putting a little bit around the edges. This will help our egg rolls to seal as we roll. So we're gonna start at the corner and we're just going to fold our egg roll wrapper over top of that filling, slide it back to tuck it in, and then we're just going to tuck in the sides of the egg roll wrapper. So then after they're tucked in, we're going to continue to fold, just like I'm doing here. If I see any pieces sticking out, I'll just tuck them in as I fold. Continue to fold, and then once it gets to the end, because that water is there, it'll seal nice and tight, just like this. So let's do another one. Same thing that we did the first time. We're gonna grab our egg roll wrapper, put a nice heaping tablespoon right in the center. We're gonna dip our fingers in the water and just moisten the edges of our egg roll wrapper. So simple. Then we're just gonna to start to fold. So fold from the corner, right over that filling, tuck it in. Then we're gonna to start to fold in our sides. One side, second side, tucking any loose edges. 
And then we're just going to continue to fold. I brought it a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so keep on folding. I know I'm moving kind of slow, but I just want to make sure you all get it. There we go. Looks good to me. <laughs> so when I feel like I got the hang of it, I just put a whole bunch of my egg roll wrappers out. I've already moistened the ends of all of the egg roll wrappers. And then I'm just going to start to roll all of my egg rolls. Now this batch will make about 20 egg rolls, um, give or take a few. So you do want to try to get them done as fast as possible. I mean, it's no rush, but you want to get them done as fast as possible. So I just usually do about six at a time. Get all my filling on there perfectly. And then I just start to fold and roll. All right, so they are looking so good. Now you can do ground beef, like I said before. You can do shrimp, um, you know, whatever protein or no meat at all. It's totally up to you if you want to add onions, um, more carrots. It's totally up to you what you want to add to your filling. So feel free to have some fun with it. Um, you can also do ground pork or sausage. Totally up to you. Just have fun. I just like ground turkey. I cook with it all the time. So that's why I chose ground turkey. All right, so we have a couple more to go, and I'm just putting my egg rolls on a tray um, as I finish rolling them. And once I get all of my egg rolls um, rolled, I usually pop the tray in the fridge while I heat up my oil just to keep them nice and cold um, and to firm up that egg roll wrapper. Look at that, looking so good. And here are our egg rolls. I'm so proud. <laughs> All right, so I'll put these in the fridge. I'm gonna heat up my oil. Once my oil is about 365 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and start to drop my egg rolls in that hot oil. And you'll notice they'll start to float almost immediately they don't really take long at all to cook i usually cook them for about three to four minutes once they're nice and golden brown they're done remember your filling is all the way cooked so you're really just trying to brown up and crisp up your egg roll wrapper so I'm going to try to flip them over. Sometimes you have one that just does not want to flip over. So I try to flip it over with whatever cooking tool I'm using and just hold it down <laughs> as best I can. And you can look at this one. Just, just fighting back. Lord. Look, see? Okay. Let's try again. There we go. Just hold it down. <laughs> and once they're nice and golden brown to your liking, we're going to start to remove our egg rolls from that hot oil and allow them to drain. Let's get some more out. Ooh, they look so good. I cannot wait to taste them. Here we go. There we go. Getting all of them out of this oil. And I had to fry in a couple batches, of course. This is my second batch. And then I have my sweet chili sauce that I'm going to use to serve my egg rolls to dip them in. And I'm going to get an egg roll and a nice dip of this sweet chili sauce. You can also use duck sauce. I just prefer sweet chili sauce, but it's totally up to you. I want to get a nice dip. Look how good it looks. And of course, I'm going to take a bite. And then I'll show you what the inside looks like. <laughs> So here's the inside. It's filled up with that beautiful filling. And I hope you all give this recipe a try. I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys. <laughs>